Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Can you hear me? I can. Very good. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mayor, Mayor and the council, I, I really appreciate the opportunity to speak to the council and to the to the community as a whole about the issues that we face today concerning race relations and the proper role of policing in our country. I want you all to know first that as your chief, I was repulsed at the actions taken by those officers in Minnesota and, and grieve for the family of George Floyd. There's no justification for those officers' behavior, and I believe that they should be held accountable for their actions. The members of your police department believe in fair treatment for all and the protection of everyone's civil rights is a cornerstone of our profession. No one hates a bad cop more than a good cop, and North Dakota Hills Police Department is full of really good cops. I join with the police departments and police chiefs from across the country in speaking out about this sort of police misconduct and assure our community that we will always try to protect everyone equally, no matter who <clears> they are <throat> or how they look. We never forget that we are public servants and all that we have comes from you, our community. Shortly after becoming your chief back in 2005, some 15 years ago now, we updated our vision and mission statements for the organization to reflect the kind of department that we wanted to be. Our vision is, is a community where the public has full faith in its police department to provide an atmosphere where people feel safe and secure. And our mission is to work in a partnership with our citizens to maintain a safe, peaceful community by providing excellence in all police services dedicated to the highest standards of ethics and integrity while preserving and protecting life. I believe these statements combined with our core values of service, honor, and integrity represent who we are as an agency and what we stand for. Now, there's been much discussion in the media about specific policies and practices being revised by police departments across the country. And please allow me to tell you a few things about us and how we've been addressing these for several years. We work diligently to cultivate positive relationships with all of our community members. And we take a great deal of pride in the strong relationships that we've built so far. We work hard to be open, transparent, and inviting to all and realize that it's a great honor to serve the community. All officers receive cultural awareness training as part of their biennial training mandates. And in addition, the entire department <clears throat> staff receives bias based and racial profiling training regularly. It's important to us that the whole department understands our expectation when caring for our community. There's a hashtag going around right now called eight can't wait, which refers to eight specific policies many are demanding agencies across the country adopt. I'm proud to tell you that your police department is in full compliance with these recommendations and actually has been for several years. Also, several years ago, we took the principles contained in the, the Presidential 21st Policing Report combined with the concept of procedural justice and changed our entire use of force policy to be aligned with the elements of de-escalation and protecting the sanctity of life. It involves the, the application of a, of a pretty critical decision-making model to ensure our actions follow what's called the plain concept. That is, all of our actions are judged whether they are proportional, legal, authorized, necessary, and ethical. We've also implemented an, an officer wellness program to help officers deal with the stressors of the job. These two changes were married into what became known as the SHIELD program that you heard me talk about. SHIELD encompasses every aspect of training and culture that we focus on in the department. It stands for service, honor, integrity, ethics, sanctity of life, and de-escalation. Every member of the department receives this training, which includes our definition of the program, which states, quote, SHIELD is the action of our service to our community, each other, and ourselves, while having honor in who we are and what we do, utilizing integrity and the law enforcement code of ethics in the sanctity of all human life, in, the, in our decisions and how we interact with others, having belief in the sanctity of all human life, considering de-escalation in whatever we do. We also expanded our training advisory board to include more citizen involvement, including a more diverse group of citizens to ensure our training needs meets the community expectations. We've also worked to cultivate a connection with members of our community through developing programs that bring about meaningful partnerships. Many of these community outreach programs are aimed at improving relationships with the minority community members. However, we also strive to encourage opportunities to connect directly by plugging in with us. Programs such as UNIDOS, Chaplain's Program, the Citizen Police Academy, Volunteers in Police Service, Police Foundation, 
and neighborhood policing groups are just a few examples of what's going on. Beat officers are assigned to a unique area of town to allow officers to get to know their specific patrol area and foster an even deeper connection with its members. And lastly, we utilize our social media platform to communicate directly with our community about our programs and to hear their concerns. We strive every day to provide the very best service possible for our community. We understand the weight of our responsibility and have ingrained these principles into the fabric of our organization. To answer the question that came up earlier, we are in full compliance with the racial profiling laws in Texas and submit a report to the city council each year and then later to the state of Texas. We are in full compliance with all of their requirements. In addition, we have a robust body camera program that fully complies with state law and actually far exceeds those regulations by assigning a camera to every single officer in the department and requiring that it be utilized at all times. I believe that we're a model for others to follow on how we provide professional police services at the highest level possible. Granted, we are not perfect, and it's likely that we will make some mistakes. But when we do, we will be transparent in the process in order to maintain that public trust that we work so hard to develop. Now, as a chief, you expect me to, to tow the company line and to tell you what's going on from the administrative standpoint. But before I close, I, I've invited the president of our police association, Sergeant Brent Wright, to say a few words about his perspective on how these principles that I've been talking about are enacted down at the line level. And I'll close out once he finishes his comments. Brent, are you there? Yes, sir, can you all hear me? Yes, go ahead. Yes, uh, first off, thank you all for giving me an opportunity to speak. Uh, just like Chief Purdue said, not only is this at an administration level, but through every rank and file within our police department, do we fully embrace, we preach, and we practice those ideals of plain and chilled and community policing. We lead by that. And just like he said, I believe that we are a model to follow because our community involvement is so important to us and we need that community involvement to be successful, successful in our job. I just wanted you all to hear that from me, Chief Purdue and I had spoke about that earlier. And, to know that we all do in practice and love what we do in our profession and we keep those ideals close to our hearts. Thank you all very much. Thank you Brent, very much. I appreciate that. And, and I believe that speaking on behalf of the association of whom I have a great relationship with and we work very, we don't agree on everything, but that's okay. But we always work towards the betterment of the organization and the city as a whole. So Mr. Mayor and council, I just wanted you to know and feel comfortable to know that your police department is engaged in this conversation. We're aware of the concerns that are being raised by members of the public and, and by society in, in the whole, and we will continue to be the leader, a leader in this, or, in this conversation. We will continue to, to dialogue with people on the concerns they have, and we will continue to be the very best police department that this city deserves to have. Thank you very much.